That's a great song, the lead-off track from the new CD from Airborne Winds of Change, which you can get at their website, airbornejazz.com, A-I-R-B-O-R-N-E, jazz.com. And we really have an honor because the three members of Airborne are all the way, they traveled all the way from New Haven into the studio, and we welcome, uh, we're going to introduce everybody, Tom Sansone, all those great horns, right? That's me. Yeah. And guitarist. Greg, Greg Barino, Barino. Yeah. How are, how's everybody And today? keyboardist extraordinaire, Mr. Hi, Todd Joe. Barino. Thank you for having us, Joe. Yeah, you guys must be really excited. This is your sixth CD? Six CD, yes, yes. yes. And yeah. it comes out of uh, uh, being the 20th year, being uh, together as uh, Airborne Jazz. But, so it's, uh, it comes at a good time. And, and we're yeah. really happy with the way it came out, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, it was a nice group effort. And um, it was one of those efforts where when it was done... Uh, we all felt good about it. So. Right. Mm-hmm. And you're excited the album's out? Yes. yes. Available uh, downloads and... Downloads? CD yes, Jack. people could get it from CD yeah. Baby, from our website, airbornejazz.com. Yeah, you could buy it as a full CD, or you could buy song by song as a digital download. Mm-hmm. So there's many options, whatever people may l- choose to do. Uh, going back, I mean, 20 years, That's I mean, yeah. you guys still... Uh, like playing with each other and uh, yes and we got the and, scars to prove right, it right. But. <laughs> yeah, to, to brothers barino here and, and let's talk about the early days of, of the group and okay. how'd you guys get it together okay first started with me and tommy sansone and that's probably goes over 35 years okay and then of course my brother he's there anyway he was there all along <laughs> and then when we decided to be a jazz band put together as airborne that he was always there too and now you go back 35 years. Did you guys grow up in New Haven? Yes, yes we did. Yeah. What, what was it we like? Were, you were 16 yeah. years old when we started playing yeah. together, right. me and Tom. Yeah. yeah. How, how about the music, we, you know, getting into music? We, and were, we were always into uh, musical stuff. I mean, you know, yeah. we were in a lot of dance bands and, R- and rock, rock, bands, rock bands and yeah, all R&B that bass, stuff, all the clubs. Right. But even you know, a lot but of fusion artists. Fusion too. of yeah. the 70s. Yeah. But, of like John McLaughlin. That's what we. Li- that's <laughs> yeah, what we that's listen right. to. Right. You know? yeah, right. That's, that's, what, we listen that's to. what I always listen to. You yeah. know, from Chick Corea. Stu- really, yeah, Motown right. influence. The Motown. Right. Yeah. So, so what were the stations on radio back then? You guys. YBC. Were into? YBC. YBC. Yeah. 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 They were very yeah. Jazz. Yeah. That was pretty much it. And jazz. Yes, it mm-hmm. was. Right. Yeah. So, so you guys, you and Tom Sansone, and Tom Barino got into playing together and. Brought uh, Greg into the mix. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about that first record and, and, and the sound. Uh, the first record is more, it was more contemporary jazz, but more fusion, I have to say, and funk. Mm-hmm. More f- Our first three CDs really are more fusion, funk, uh, mixture. The third CD, Life Tones, we did put a, one smooth jazz song on it. It was right. called Island View. Okay. And that started us getting into that phase of uh, what music, as music changed at that time, into the smooth jazz era. Before it was called contemporary jazz, right, and now right. they call it smooth jazz. Right, you know? right. So that, this, I, the song Island View was purposely put on that CD. The rest of the CD is mostly, is more harder contemporary jazz, but that, there is a single on that that was supposed to be for the smooth jazz audience. Yeah, you talked about the smooth jazz and contemporary yeah. jazz. And at New York City, they lost the big station yeah. out of there. Yeah. You see a lot of changes as far as... It's changing in the sense that it's uh, the internet radio stations are getting bigger, mm-hmm. serious, that type of thing. Um, right. But nothing beats like the live radio of college, you know, right, where you right. get that variety. So. Yeah. It's something how Airborne, through the years, has been played on... All kinds of stations, like college, mm-hmm. commercial, now, now of course, the internet, even before the internet, and PBS station, you know, public broadcasting, because we, we uh, uh, I guess, we, uh, uh, the, our influence goes to a lot of different uh, audience, so uh, that's a good feeling to yeah. have. And your music's been featured on BT and... All yeah, different stations. Yeah. yeah, TV. Yeah. And, so yeah. it was, yeah. yeah, a wide audience really like our yeah. music. We're, we're thankful for, for that. And you know what? We were graciously uh, called uh, uh, the last couple of years 
uh, the musical peacemakers of contemporary jazz. We were right, labeled yeah, that. Right. And, uh, somebody put that in an article, and all the music critics just took on that, and now they just call us that. Right, right. But that's because every since since the Heavy Vibes album, there was always a word that we always tried to send out a message, like a message of peace or global unity. Right. Uh, you'll see that on all our albums, on all our CDs, that there was always a message in it, especially the winds of change. Right. The winds of change it's coming at a unsettled time in history it's wartime mm -hmm. it's election year right bad economy and every every song every the title of the cd the titles of every composition on the cd were were planned on giving uh, a it, positive message to give right. a positive, yeah. positive message, message of to try to yeah well, we're we're a jazz band, so it's hard to say a message. The only message we can say is is almost in the liner notes. But it's been said that our music does give a vibe mm -hmm. uh, of of peace and happiness. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. that's a so nice. So we need more of that. So thanks yes. for yeah. carrying yeah. that carry it, that to the, the forefront. That's yeah. a good the, thing. The right. next cut yeah. and title of the CD is "Winds, Winds of change, change." If you want yeah, to play I got, that, I, got, I just and, queued it uh, right back up. So, yeah. <laughs> so we also uh, yes. check out airbornejazz.com. A I R B O R N E jazz.com. You also can see the video that you did for yes. uh, the reprise to uh, "Winds of Change." That, yes. that was really cool. And yeah. uh, that that was that was, but it wasn't played like on the national. Uh, Televised on the at night at the uh, Democratic Convention, right. but it was played during the daytime. During so right. we're proud of There's that. There's still so. a couple weeks. Yeah, so, so we're, right we're, we're, no, we're, yeah, we're right. proud Stop of that. Behind, so. huh? Yeah. Huh? Stop. There you go, That's Barack right. Obama yeah. headquarters. Yeah, yeah. Well, we were list. very yeah. proud of that. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Airbornejazz.com to get in contact with the fellas. We've got Tom Sansone, Greg Barino, and Tom Barino here, and this is the title track "Winds of Change." Right here on WVF in the Upper Room with Joe Kelly. All right, that's another great song from our guests today, Airborne. And Airborne is here with us, their latest CD, the sixth CD, Winds of Change. Oh, that's a tough... <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't have our camera operator zooming, I guess, the holiday. So, But uh, anyways, you can go to their website, airbornejazz.com. And uh, joining us today are Greg and Tom Barino and, of course, Tom Sansone. <laughs> and, uh, oh, that's okay. It sounded like a little <laughs> horror yeah. effect there. Open the door. Hey, when Halloween yeah, comes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right on Tom time Sansone for the holidays. Who, who plays sax and, and flute. Tell, tell us about your, your intro to music and you know why you've been doing it so long. And was it, was it a, I a was horn born to be a musician. I really had no other talents. <laughs> <laughs> An honest musician, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Self-taught uh -huh. from the age of, I don't know. I sang in bands from when I was... 14, uh -huh. right. 15, 16, received the flute as a uh, gift mm -hmm. when I was 18, and just kept playing. Now, how about switching between the two, two yeah, horn instruments? Well, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, being, being able to... Uh, it, it's hard to explain. You know, you, you have to... You just have to have the the songs to right, do right. first off you know what i mean that mm -hmm. warrant this instrument that instrument and just over the years it developed to where well let's try all these different sounds you know right. most players play one tenor you know saxophone or alto saxophone or there's just a flute player but there are some that are more versatile and play more like joe farrell was was a great influence Joe Farrell was right. one of those who played everything and played everything great. And, and Bob think, Mitzer is another one who plays everything. I think what's real cool on your website, you know, you have the whole band and all the info, but individually you can check out what you guys have done and what you like mm -hmm. to play and influences. How, how about a, as a saxophone player, do you, do you change up your instrument as far as the gear a lot or you keep it? Nice, no, no. Sometimes you, you want to, you know, you, I think you get, you get tired of the sound, you know, so... You, but now I've basically been sticking with the same, same instruments, the same gear for a while. You get comfortable with a yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, horn players usually, guitar players, they always get comfortable with a, mm -hmm. with their instruments. Right, Keyboards right. change all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and tell us about it as a keyboard player, and you know, how how did you get into to music and 
I wanted to get all those keyboards. Well, I had a fu- I got a funny story to tell. First, I started lessons as a guitar. Mm-hmm. I started playing when it was maybe maybe twelve, thirteen, and uh, and the guitar teacher said to me, he says, "Well, why don't we not waste my time and your money and don't come back?" <laughs> 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 so I said, "Oh, but." I love music, so then I started playing piano. Right, so, right. And, but uh, it was a good thing I did switch. So uh-huh. that's a, that's a, it is it, a funny story, it, but uh, yeah. piano was made for me. So. so so when did you show up and, and just set up your keyboards and show what you could do? How long was it after that to say, hey, oh, I, I'll prove you wrong here? Oh, I have to say, I was in a band at, at, year, at those years... There was nobody who played keyboards. It was all we, everybody played guitar, drums, or so. Mm-hmm. I played three. I was only playing keyboards for three months, and people and I went into a band. I said, "But I'm not ready to play." And they said, "Oh yes, you are." And I said, "Okay." And I was in the band, and I was right. in a band. Yeah. Uh, how about it's, some of the musicians that that you always looked up to? Oh, uh, I have to say, like Chick Corea and Herbie Hancock. George Duke, those were some of my favorites, and they're they're legends right now. And, right. and the older ones, uh, as far as keyboard players are, I would have to say like Bud Powell. Right, yeah. going going way going back, going right? way back. Right, yeah. right. Oscar Peterson. Yeah. But those are just they're, they're, they're yeah. monsters. Right. There's not too many people who play like that. Yeah. yeah. You, weren't, you weren't at the away. Fats yeah. Domino talk. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure you were. And your brother Greg Green. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, well, the guitar player. Uh, uh, yeah. First playing guitar? I up the, guitar was yeah. my first instrument yeah. and <laughs> always has been. Uh, yeah. Doubled a little bit on bass, but mostly it was guitar. Started in the eighth grade, so that's been a while. Yeah. Um, and uh, always, always woke up, lived music all my life mm-hmm. as an artist. You know, mm-hmm. just something you just have to do you know no matter what you're thinking about it when you wake up and you're thinking about it when you go to sleep what you got to do next what you're working on mm. this and that so living it how, how about guitars on on the record of winds of change what, what are you using in particular oh uh, i was using uh gibson 335 which i've had since about the ninth grade so wow. mm, i've yeah. had that forever and um I had a self-made, more of an electric solid body made for me by Jeff Moline from the Middletown area. Mm -hmm. And that's more for my little rockier kind of stuff. And uh, a few numbers have some acoustic guitar, which I used a Yamaha. Right. So so you guys are are doing really well with the album Winds of Change, which is available. You can go to airbornejazz.com. And uh, Airborne is spelled with the E at the end of born jazz.com you can also get it at cdbaby.com and uh your myspace page as well Mm -hmm. and right now we're going to listen to another great cut you know we've got a lot of our favorites on here and we're going to get into uh all tied up tell us about writing this one as as a group oh that this this goes really back this is a uh back to uh me and tommy were song kind of uh, being like mostly songwriters at that time me and tommy see and so on and we were approached by a 16th piece soul band at horn band and we put that song together for right tom all tied up Long, uh, yeah right and it was a vocal tune. it was a it vocal, was a vocal tune. tune yeah it was a vocal tune it was a soulful it was really like a, like out of a stack records like that kind of a sound like a sam and dave sound right that was that kind of a song and for this cd we were looking for something that was uh, you know sort of funky it, but then we we listened to that and we said, well, let's make it a smooth jazz song and it would fit our the way our style that Airborne is, and it worked out great. It worked out great. So we're gonna we come weren't back. planning oh. on putting it, but but the title of it yeah. is, is 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 great for the CD too because it's almost so, like what everybody is feeling right yeah. now with fear and not knowing what, and what to do. Right. They're all tied up. Yeah, and it's, and it's old school meets new school. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. So. It's a great song and uh, from a great new record from Airborne. This is uh, All Tied Up from Winds of Change right here on WVOF in the Upper Room. All right, All Tied Up from our guests right here. We have uh, Tom Barino, Greg Barino, and Tom Sansone, the core members, the founding members of Airborne out of New Haven, Connecticut. And you guys were talking off air and all the great talent in, in Connecticut. And you, and you bring in different players for your own records and uh yes, what's that like bringing in people who aren't the core as we have them in the studio today and getting them to 
to vibe with you. That brings in more flavor to the group. I think you right. know each. We let each musician. We don't tell them exactly what to play. We we know what being we've played with them before. We know what they could bring to the table and. It as opposed to it just being a small project, the more people add to it, the more different sounds you'll get. Right, right. And uh, the the influence of different peoples, what they bring to the table musically, it just adds. I feel. And, and you have your own studio where you guys yes. do the recording, right? Mm-hmm. Tell tell us about the studio and. Well, uh, the- it's a digital studio. Uh, we do li- we do all live drums we do everything's live we don't do really any sequencing that type of thing i mean i have the capabilities right, to do right. that but for our type of music we still prefer the the live playing of musicians and getting that live vibe right right and, and it sounds great on this record you got you have some vocalists on there yes as well. we have yeah. elizabeth oh. dellinger who's been with us for over 10 years she's the best of the best mm-hmm. and she has a great ear of making up uh, harmonies, melodies, and she's just a pleasure to work with. So, so people can go on your website. We see, you know, you guys have a regular gig at Cafe Goodfellas. What, what do you have planned for this, this fall and, and the winter uh, as far as the record? What, what's on the schedule? Oh, as far as record, a lot, a lot. Keep it promoting. We're still promoting and promoting. We'll keep promoting this till uh, at least after the new year. Right, and right. then it's back to the drawing board to uh, right. keep writing again. We plan on doing another CD next year, too. Got to get him our Christmas song. We have a Christmas oh, yeah, we oh, do okay, have a Christmas right. song yeah. that we're going to be putting out. It's coming up. Yes, yeah, before, yes, before that's before our... Holiday, yeah, yes. So yes. we're very busy at this time. <laughs> right, right. Because well, the good. Christmas yeah. song is going to have to yeah. come out in the next couple of weeks. We have one already, but we're going to... We're in the, in the point of remastering it. Right, Greg? Yes. Right. And as far as performance, um, as you said, we do play every Thursday and Friday as a jazz trio, not mm-hmm. with the full band, at Goodfellas in New Haven on State Street. Okay. And that's from 7 to 10 every Thursday and Friday till the end of the year. So so people are, the as far as the trio, as far as the full band, how does that work out? Well, that that's a smaller place, so the space just doesn't commit to bring such a large band. Mm-hmm. But uh, whenever we can bring the full band, we always do. Oh yeah, yeah but we use the same tracks as the uh, as the CDs. Right, right. Okay. As far as bass and drums go, so right, it's pretty close it, to, to what you hear. Or how you sound? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah. just not as much energy because you, you right. know, live not the but live, it's just as live drums. Just as good. Yeah. Well, we try to make it. We 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 like to think so. Right. You guys, are, you, guys, you guys are talented guys. So <laughs> we like yeah. to think so. Right. But we know that you know it's, it's nothing, nothing like, like a having full a five and six. Piece yeah. Band. Oh, it's nothing like when you have the full band. When we put the full band, we have the percussion, we have the bass, we have the drums, yeah, it, and it's, the vocals, and it's it snaps. It's it's, right. it's just it's yeah. nothing like it. Right. Right. It just kicks you in the butt, and 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 you can feel it from the audience too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Airborne's with us, and uh, their latest CD is called "Winds of Change," and they are going to be uh, here. You got time for one more second? Sure. sure. Okay. We uh, we're here, here. Let's see. We, we're going to get into uh, Rising Higher, written by Greg Barino. Okay. And uh, how'd you compose this one and, and bring it into the studio for the band? This one, um, actually, I was listening to some, believe it or not, acid jazz stuff. And then I, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> where, the and then the it side went or? from there. And then I created a middle section, adding more like a big band type of piece. So the song went all over the place. It's a little more rockier edge than some of the other stuff. But mm-hmm. we we always like to play with some edge. Uh, this right. CD's a little safer, but we always got to add our little edge to it. So Cool. This is from Airborne, and this is uh, called Rising Higher right here on WBOF. All right. Rising Higher, uplifting people. On the acid jazz tip you, Greg, mentioned, but uh, Tom was talking to Tom Marino <laughs> off air about... Well, you were uh, actually on acid? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to ask, but yeah, <laughs> just in the, the vibe of no, acid yeah, jazz, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, Tom Marino was talking about, I mean, there's no lyrics to that song, but you can get kind of a feel to yes. a uh, message then, through it, yeah. right? Yes, yeah. well, like like I said, every, ti- every, every title of uh, the CD was planned on that of the give that uh, uplifting feel and rising higher is just a challenge for all of us that we could do better right. we could do better for the four for yourself and for the world right. we need to help each other we, there are the, we need global unity and peace uh, that's our, that's our really our message 
and uh, we'd spent a, st- a strong message maybe uh, for us for years. I, 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 that's why I keep stressing that. It's been that. But, and and uh, musicians must have some great deep conversations about stuff because, I mean, you guys are artistic. Mm-hmm. And then you, you also deal with stuff going on in the world as inspiration. Yes. Stuff you have like to that. be yeah. a humanitarian, too. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Winds of Change. And we're going to play uh, on, on the way out uh, the reprise to it. And you can check out the, uh, the video on airbornejazz.com, A-I-R-B-O-R-N-E, jazz.com. And uh, you guys are the peacemakers. Yes, we are. Appointed. They call and th- us. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's some. You can go on the anointed. reviews. We've been yeah, anointed. that's right. <laughs> We've been anointed. <laughs> that, they, they're, they're carrying that, that uh, moniker right there, and you can check the, uh, <laughs> all the reviews. People saying great things about you guys. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're, we're, we're very grateful for that. Now, tell some of the, the places where you've been surprised where your music has, has uh, been accepted and, and things people said great words about. Um, it's been uh, played the European market. Yeah. Yeah, it's always been nice. Australia. Australia. That's, that's Australia got, we got a lot of airplay in there. Right, so that right. Was, Surprising, so yeah, I got a few emails. Hey, mate, uh, you right. know, very nice music, <laughs> right. stuff like that. Yeah. So <laughs> now, now they got a fund and sponsor that tour to go over there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. there you go. <laughs> right, right. Yes. So, so the band Airborne, we we are joined by Greg and Tom Barino and Tom Sansone, and uh, you guys, thirty five years. What, 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 what does that yeah. go back to doing the math? Ooh. Early seventies? Uh, I don't know. Late sixties. Oh, late sixties. <laughs> okay. Late sixties. Yeah, and and you started as a vocalist too, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what were yeah, you? W- like I said, I don't know. Fourteen years old, fifteen years old. Yeah. TNT and the dynamics was right. the name of the band. Mm-hmm. Now, as a singer, how, how about uh, getting in front of an audience and, and singing it? I guess as any and musicians yeah, too. How, how do you conquer al- that? That singing was was always a natural thing for me. No stage fright. As never. Far as that? Wow. Never. Yeah. Never. I was just always a natural thing. Music was just always a natural. How about uh, vocalists? Who are some of your influences? Stevie, probably Stevie, Stevie right. Wonder. Yeah. Right. Well, Sam Cooke was very big, but any right. anybody, all the Motown artists. I was right. very, very soulful. It, very, actually, Stevie Wonder was my soulful. first concert at New Haven Coliseum, the first show I ever went to, Hotter oh. Than July tour. Oh, Guys, yeah. I was there. Yeah. yeah. I was there. And Gil that Scott was, Heron opened up. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that, but was, all the that Motown, was a long all show. All the Motown groups, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Temptations. Right. Mm-hmm. The Tops. Eating little Anthony. I love Little Anthony. Yeah, what a voice, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so uh, speaking all, of that, Stevie Wonder, uh, I think that show... Uh, I couldn't get a train home. I had to take a gypsy cab to come back to Florida. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, What's that cost you? Ten bucks. <laughs> yeah. That was it. That was I don't bad. know why her parents didn't come back. Back then it wasn't bad. Yeah. 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 So, when so was you that guys, concert? 80s. 85. Yeah. Oh, no, I think it was even earlier because I graduated high school 82. Okay. I went like I, was, I wasn't even driving okay. this. Maybe 82, 79, 80 maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What would a taxi cab drive? <laughs> yeah. What's now? Man, the guy didn't mess with us. He brought us here. So, So how about you guys go and check other artists out? Yeah, when well, we're yeah. not playing, I always yes, go. I, I yeah. go to love hear other music because it inspires you. You get different ideas, yes. and you know you want to hear other people play and see how what they bring. Right, right. Right now, we've been very busy, uh, like uh, doing interviews as mm-hmm. this. We've right, been, we've been doing a lot of that. We've been uh, a lot of promotion and uh, starting. To, we're ready to write again, and like I said, we're trying to, to put out a, a Christmas uh, uh, right. Just send right it now. as soon as it's ready. So it's keep, it. it just keeps send going. MP3? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It doesn't, it doesn't right. stop. It doesn't so that's stop. seven CD and yeah, yeah, two thousand nine. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, this CD is not done yet. This uh, this just started flying. This right. CD. Yeah. So we're gonna push this one a little harder. Yeah, and, see what yeah. and maybe uh, you know make the push for you guys to perform at the inaugural ball coming up in oh, January. Absolutely. If it works out right. Oh, <laughs> you know. There you go. Yeah, winds of change, airborne. Um, yes. You know, we're gonna. Go out with two songs, actually, Magic in the City, which we love, and Thank then you. seg right into the, uh, the reprise of uh, Winds of Change. And Tell us a, a little more that for those that just tuned in and didn't hear you talk about Winds of Change in the video. Uh, how did that come about? Okay, Winds of Change, like I said, it's an unsettled time in history, and uh, economy is bad, as, as we know, even though the, that uh, stocks went up today right, a little right, right. but the economy is bad right mm-hmm. people are afraid people are in fear and things have to be changed we have to be unified <laughs> we have to be unified as a people and we hope our music tries to transfigure 
and send a message of um, hope. A message of hope. You know, we know by listening to music, it's not going to fix the problems of the world, but yes. maybe it could offer a little Band-Aid or just offer a l- people a little more inspiration to make that extra move. Yes. Right. So, yeah. so the peacemakers have made the mark here at WVOF. Want to thank you? Yes. Yeah. We're trying. Thank We're you. trying. Yeah. We're, We're trying. trying. Right. So, uh, Tom Barino and Greg Barino and Tom yes. Sansone. It's and we offer everyone, uh, tell here. everyone also to go out there and register. If you want things to change, you yes. have to vote. Yeah, right. Instead of yelling at your TV screen yes. Yes. and the radio, right? Yes. 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 So uh, Airborne, get this album. Winds of Change, they're six. They're, they're best so far. Well, I don't know if you guys have favorite, but their their current one <laughs> is another <laughs> carrying on the tradition of excellent it's the music. Smoothest. Thank you, Joe. So far. Yeah, 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 that's right. The smoothest. The smoothest. Yeah, and they're yeah, out of really New Haven, is. Connecticut, and uh, we have to support local artists definitely, and go out and see them. Uh, check their website for upcoming shows, and uh, go to airbornejazz.com, cdbaby.com as well. So we'll go out with Magic in the City and Winds of Change, and, and thanks, guys, so much. Thank you. Thank you, Joe, for having.